Good morning, this is Ben, and uh, I wanted to respond to a video by a supermassive atheist, man-made God, or your religion is bullshit. Um, and the video draws its main argument from the riddle of evil, which is in no way new. It's not like he's the first one to ever suggest or, or look at the riddle of evil. But to put it in the terms in the video, uh, it says, uh, If God can prevent evil and won't, then he cannot be good. Or if God wants to prevent evil and can't, then he can't be God. Or all-powerful. And uh, this is the way it's presented in the video. So let me repeat it one more time. If God can prevent evil and won't, then he can't be good. If God wants to prevent evil and can't, then he can't be God. Okay, now what this argument does is it gives you some options. And it says, pick one. Okay, so let's look at those options that it gives us. Option one, God exists, is good, and prevents evil. Option two, God exists, is evil, and does not prevent evil. And of course, the obvious option three, which is the one he wants you to take, which is what he believes, God does not exist. So to repeat those, God exists, is good, and prevents evil. God exists, is evil, and does not prevent evil. And God does not exist. Okay, now what I would like to do is merely introduce another option, a fourth option that I feel is left out of the system. I think, uh, so let me just introduce it. God exists, is good, and does not prevent evil. I think that one needs to be considered. It needs to be considered at least. And so, again, we have to add, now that we have a, a more well-rounded set of options, I think we have to consider which one of these is true. Or at least, can we rule any of them out? Okay? Now, Option one obviously has to be ruled out. I mean, God obviously doesn't uh, prevent all evil because evil exists. Okay? Uh, uh, an evil God, uh, maybe, uh, when we haven't introduced anything that would prove or disprove an evil God, or the, you know, the existence of God would be another one. But this fourth option, can we rule it out? God exists, is good, and does not prevent evil. Simply put, God could allow free beings to exist. I don't, I don't see why there's a problem there. A good God could merely give human beings the freedom that he has to do what they want with their lives. At least, not to the extent that he has. I mean, he would have ultimate freedom to do anything. But he could make them free within confines and allow certain things to happen. Uh, now, if you think he's allowed certain things to happen that he shouldn't have allowed, um that's another argument, you know, that, that he went too far or something like that. But the fact that he allows things, people to do things that he himself would not do is the real question here. The issue is why does God allow people to do things that he doesn't want to do? In other words, evil. You know, if he's good, why does he allow you to do things that he wouldn't do? Because he wants you to uh, live. Because he believes in life and living because he is life and alive. Uh, it, it, it is freedom is something he, he, he places value on and I don't see you know I don't see how God can't believe in freedom I don't see why we have to rule that out I don't see why you know God can't be good but allow people to do what they want with their lives in fact I mean this is one of the fundamental beliefs in Christianity that I mean every Christian believes you know that well most Christians anyway, there's so much difference, but that, that here's Jesus on the one hand, and you know, here's God on the other, and God wants us to do all these good things, and we don't. And God is, it, and, and Jesus Christ on the cross is there willing to die to pay the punishment for the bad things we've done. He's willing to die for our right to disagree, that He didn't zap us dead or, or just make us agree, but that God values life and values living because of he is alive and lives and he's willing to allow 
us to do things that he wouldn't do and to want things that we wouldn't want but the outcomes of those he doesn't always allow any outcome and you know I don't uh, I, maybe an illustration would be in order no no we won't go there uh, anyway uh, he then, the uh, supermassive atheist fella, moves on and says that free will contradicts uh, God's omniscience. And that God can't know what we will freely do, or else we did not freely do it. We are not free to do A or B. And this would be true if God had caused us, you know, beforehand to do this or that. Then obviously we're not free. But. Simply because God knows what we'll do beforehand and in no way contradicts that we would do it freely. Uh, it, it does contradict it if you place a limited set of abilities on God. If you do that, then it, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Look at it this way. You and I can look at the past and know what happened in the past with certainty. And yet that does not mean that we you know, interfered in the past and restricted the freedom of the you know the things that happened before now for God it could simply be an issue of that you know for time it doesn't work the same for God and that he can see the future the way we can see the past that he could see all of time at once and see what all humans are freely doing and and this is the important thing to go back to the other point if he can do that then he can he can very well coordinate his actions so that everything he allows is part of a coordinated super plan that nothing goes outside of his plan and to get back to the previous point why oh why must we assert that God on the one hand can't allow freedom for his creation the freedom to do something that he wouldn't necessarily do you know why is that impossible what if he, because, you know, it, it, it may be possible that he wants us to freely do good like he does. Because that's what he is. He, you know, he freely, he has freedom in a more ultimate sense than we do, and he, he does good. And so, if this good God exists, then naturally he would want, you know, more of that. He, he would value what he is and what he does, and he would want to give us the opportunity to be that, or someone. So there, that's it.